Hello everybody, welcome to another video and welcome to another episode of Using PowerPC. Uh, this is basically a little series in which I tell you what you have to do with your PowerPC Mac to make it a much more pleasurable experience to use it on a daily basis uh, for things like web browsers to OS's to uh, today's topic which is Twitter. Um, a lot of people have asked me, how do I get Twitter on a PowerPC? Um, and up, up until a few months ago it, it was as simple as downloading a, a client and just opening it. But now, um, Twitter have decided to do everything all first party. They bought TweetDeck out and they updated the API to 1.1. I'm not going to go into that in this video. If you want to uh, research it, then then go wild. But uh, that's that's basically the, the what what it is. Twitter wanted to go first party and they just quickly wanted to eradicate every third party client out there. So they updated the API and because these PowerPC apps are so old, the developers just sort of went, <laughs> that's a bummer, isn't it? And then just carried on with their life. They don't really care. They don't, well, why would they care? There's such a small audience now, such a small demand for it. There's, there's no point in dedicating the time and the effort to updating the app. with Because I remember one of the developers said, it's not just as simple as swapping, swapping one part out for another. You'd have to completely rewrite everything to make it work. And it's just not worth the effort. So um, that's pretty much it, guys. So then people were in a bit of a state because they didn't have a Twitter client for uh, PowerPC. And this is what most people use now uh, on, on the PowerPC platform. There's two uh, two downloads here. I'll leave them both in the description. One is Fluid. If you haven't heard of Fluid, it's an absolute godsend, and I highly recommend uh, you, you use it anyway. Um, it runs off WebKit, I believe. And basically, it's a really, really stripped-down browser. Um, and it turns any website into its own little standalone app, be it Facebook, YouTube, whatever you want. It will turn it into a little app that opens in the dock, as you, you'll see in a minute. And um, that's the icon there, in case you don't want to use the default icon that Fluid gives you. So it's very, very, very simple. All you have to do is open it up and type in tweetdeck.twitter.com give it a name, I'm going to put in Twitter or tweetdeck or whatever I'm going to save it to the desktop for uh, the purpose of the video and just click create a little bar will show up, uh, it doesn't take too long, it'll just uh, do its thing 20 seconds tops and you'll get that little uh, app there you can launch now or OK or reveal in finder, just click OK and you can see there, there we go. It uses the default Twitter icon that you probably get when you're actually searching twitter.com up in the address bar. And let's just double click that, give it a little go. And yeah, it's it's opened it. It remembers the window location and size and stuff. Um, I have it by here next to my mail application, uh, constantly open. Let's just sign in. You do have to, I believe, create another account, but it's free, so nothing to worry about signing in there and here we go we've got my custom sort of layout you it's so customizable you can change it so much you've got so much uh, sort of flexibility on the left hand side there you've got your uh, toolbar um, where you can quickly go to different columns as you can see and so go to settings and stuff it's a fully fledged Twitter client in in the browser which is really really cool um, I got a home and interaction so I can sort of get my feed as well as, as reply quickly to people. Um, you can drag them across. It is quite laggy. As you can see, it's it's meant to be a nice nice fluid sort of sort of website. It does work surprisingly well, but it does it does it's not running at a smooth sixty frames per second by any means whatsoever. So there's so much customization you can do here. Um, the custom, the tabs you can sort of change previews for images. You can get alerts, all sort. It's it's really, really, really cool and really versatile. Um, again, the same with that one. And then you can add columns here. So for example, um, trending. You can put in any hashtag or anything you want. Um, let me think. Followers. And then I'm, I'm I assume. Yeah, you just click add column and uh, up it pops. So then you've you've added yourself another another column onto that little deck, uh, hence the name tweet deck. 
it's really really cool i am so so pleased with it and even if twirl decided one day to go oh i'm going to update the app i w i wouldn't use it because this is so much better um and then you can remove that there i personally don't want that one um, so then you can see, you can depending on how much uh, screen real estate you've got, how, what your screen resolution is, stuff like that, you can change it uh, according to what um, what you want going on. So it's a really, really cool little app. And as you can see, you get no toolbar, none of that sort of browser crap that you'd get in, in the standard browser. It's full screen. It fills fills the window, and it's just really, really nice. And it looks like a proper app. It doesn't look like a, a, a sort of something you, you made up by yourself in a DIY bot job. So, there is the app, we made it with Fluid, and you probably want the official icon instead of that ugly one. So, all you have to do is Command I, get info on the Twitter, Command I on the standard Twitter one, click on that little thing there until it glows, if you're in HD, then you can probably see, and then go over to this one, quite simply, Control V, paste it on there, and there we go. Twitter. You can drag it into your dock, and there you go. You've got a fully fledged, awesome Twitter app on your PowerPC laptop. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I hope this helped you out. Again, uh, Fluid and the icon will be in the, the description. I'm not going to give you, I could just give you the, the, the Twitter app itself, but I sort of wanted you to get into the habit of making apps with Fluid because it's such a an absolute godsend, an absolute lifesaver for uh, people using PowerPC machines in 2013. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.